Cool, right. and here we go. This is going to be... Um, We've got Infinity and Ninja King this versus is K9 and uh, HF Neon. Okay, I've never seen Neon in the in the flesh. So and this, this is, is Loser's Quarterfinals. Yeah. Uh, I am Brian Otto. I'm joined here by Beck. You can follow us on Twitter at Brian Otto and at SSB underscore Beck. Awesome. So here we go. We're going to see uh, uh, Mennonite Lucas versus Mennonite Fox. As far as I know. Uh, K9, uh, known as one of the best Mennonites, and Neon, in my opinion, the best Lucas. Uh, very fun to watch. I'm, I'm excited for this. I'm excited to see what uh, Neon's going to do. I don't know. I think Oracle could give uh, Neon a run for his money, especially if Oracle focused on right. fo focused on Lucas instead of focusing on, oh my god, all of these characters I can play. He yeah. plays Rob, Charizard, Lucas, um, he has a Game & Watch. I'm pretty sure he has... He like, has a DK. He has DK. He has a Yoshi. I'm pretty sure he has an Olimar. Yes, he does. He does. I've seen him posting in the boards about his amazing Olimar. So... <laughs> Mods all up in the chat today. I see so... At one point, we had so many mods. Like, our mod to commenter ratio was ridiculous. Just we, had had mod wall. we had solid swords. It was hilarious. Yeah, shout out to the mod walls. Okay. Oracle has a Charizard. Yeah. Uh, Jigglypuff obviously is the best character in the game. I mean, all she has to do is rest and you're dead. Like, <laughs> that's, that's, that's broken. Come on. Hey, Red's lived. Good to see you, dude. And Umbees. So many bros in the chat today. Alright, so we're gonna have Arizona versus half Texas, half New York, I think Mewtwo King. New Jersey. Is yeah, he's East Coast. He, he, Mewtwo King is from everywhere. The commentators, I am Brian Otto. This is Beck. As it says on my shirt. Oh, yes, it's how that convenient. side. My name is not between the buried debate, so don't get confused. It's on my shirt, so I won't forget. Cool, so I think, uh... Or, oh yeah, there's striking. I can look at the screen here. You can look at the screen. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> they're, they're thinking a whole lot about their striking. I, I'm, oh, wow, okay, so Dreamland and Battlefield. This, these are very different stages. Yeah. Um, this will be interesting. Hello, Puizel. That's how you pronounce that. Not my phone. I have my phone. We're thinking very hard about very this. Very hard. So hard. All the hard. It must Thoughts. be Mewtwo King and Infinity picking because they're the ones discussing this right now. I'm gonna imagine they just go Battlefield. Keep it neutral. Well, I don't know. Meta Knight benefits pretty well from the huge size of Dreamland. Like, Meta Knight will die early on a lot of stages. On Dreamland, he can recover from anything but death. So... I don't know. We'll see. Someday. Yeah. They'll pick someday. Y'all get a view of my crown. My commentator is literally just a tiara. <laughs> just my the my co-commentator. <laughs> Your commentators are Brian Otto and Tiara. And tiara. Okay, All so right. we went to Battlefield. Good call by Brian Otto. <laughs> Plus one for getting that right. Everybody pronounces that wrong one way or another. Anyways. Um, oh, and Mewtwo King has Neon off stage. Almost gets Shine Spike, but he's able to avoid that. But Lucas. Yeah, Lucas' recovery is. He has a lot of options. So K9 is rocking the Ham tag. Oh, it's Hamtaro. Oh, what a great mix up from K9. It's Hamtaro. I mean, I mean, sorry. Um... Oh, it is Hamtaro. I'm so interested in the fact that it's Hamtaro. I forgot to look at the match. I, I thought it was just Ham, like, I'm going Ham. But no, it's Hamtaro. That's awesome. Like the little hamster show. 
That was my that was my show when I was itty bitty. Okay, so we we're both having a pretty good strong or strong start. Uh, Infinity saving a ledge for his partner there. Very good. Ooh, nice up tilt in there from uh, K9 there. And unfortunately, not able to get it back. No. I think Infinity thought he was gonna make it, so he didn't go out there to save him. And a nice little up air is so good at just saving his partner. That could have also been a bad situation if he went off stage, I can imagine. Yeah, MK is a great team's character in general. Oh! Barely missed times that down smasher. Neon did. Almost killing. Oh, and the sh uh, his uh, magnet gets both of them. Ooh, Ooh, oh no. Oh, Accidentally killed The number his one rule of teams don't kill your bros. Wow. This will only be two out of three, so yeah, yeah, every match uh, counts. Yeah, everything's two out of three up until semifinals. So this is quarters. For those wondering. Oh wow! Man, Neon is going in right now. Double kill! Double oh, kill! Wow! Wow, Neon! This is not good for this green. This is incredible! Wow, yeah, Neon putting on a clinic. I'm wondering if we'll see a character switch from U2 King. I know hey. Infinity says he likes teaming with aggressive boxes, but I kind of feel like U2 King may be being too I mean, aggressive. Yeah, he has a huge character pool, so... Oh, and k going to die there. He... Missing that, uh... Missing the up yep. <gasps> What a shine! Wow. What a shine, and we're back to even! Amazing! U2 King with the shine spikes, just box things. I only get hype about shine spikes when they don't happen to me. <laughs> yeah. When they happen to me, I'm just like, really? That wasn't necessary. Yeah, it feels pretty gross getting shine spike, you know? It's like, yeah. oh, and he shines both of them off stage. Struggle later from K9, though, good recovery option. He just keep going hard for these yeah. good shine spikes. Oh, no. There goes his stock. Uh, and Infinity's hanging also, on the ledge. He's at 109%. Understand. Up throw, up air. Oh, and K9. Wow. K9's dead. Okay. <gasps> K9 stealing the stock last minute. I don't know if that was planned or if this is just K9 salt. Maybe. But I don't think that was. Maybe a good Neon idea. felt better that maybe K9's better in one v twos. I don't know. I don't feel like that was a good idea. Fox is plus on Meta Knight for sure. Yeah, that's that's definitely interesting. Up throw, up air is a very. Very I really good combo on Meta Knight, like more so than a lot of characters. Because he's so Meta light. Knight's weight and fall speed, he does not get out of it so easily. Yeah, I'm really curious if that was intentional. There it is! Wow! Oh no, he made it back, that tornado. This isn't Brawl, come on. Yes! Very good. Sorry, a little bit of bias here. <laughs> a little in bit case, of obvious in bias. In case you from couldn't tell from the four Beck tag, <laughs> I'm a little bit biased. <laughs> sorry, K9. Sorry, Neon. I will try my hardest to keep out my bias. I'll, I'll try and counter the bias by rooting there for you K9 go. and Neon. You, you bias for red team, I'll bias for green team. That'll even it out. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I don't. Was, I do I not think, agree with that. Yeah, I think uh, I feel like Lucas would just be better in that situation. He would. Lucas is probably a much better two v one character than Meta Knight. Meta Knight gets gets just juggled so hard in the two v one, and he can do it, but it's so h much harder for him. I feel like, whereas Lucas just has to do Lucas things and pressure, pressure, pressure. Yeah. And he has a much. I don't. I don't know. They have really good recoveries, both of them. But. Well, let's see. We'll see. Uh. With the bands are and where they take him. Um, I, I think that given that they left Dreamland open, they're comfortable with big stages. So. Well, I mean, both Lucas and Men and I would live forever yeah. on Dreamland. It's not a, it's not the best box stage because, you know, up smash. There's my water. I'm thirsty. Oh yeah. Well, I'm out of water. GG. Man, it, it, okay, so I never thought I'd say this, but it's really chilly in here. I know, right? I, I, I was so warm yesterday, and today I'm just like, I'm cold. I walked in, Wobbles had asked me yesterday, how are you still warm? I'm like, and now I'm cold. And here we are on Distant Planet. 
Oh, this is a really great double stage. Oh yeah, no, I've seen this in so many double sets. I pick this in every double set yeah. me and my partner did. This and North Bear are like my favorite double stages, I think. It's, from what I understand, it's got relatively short sides, but a higher ceiling? Question mark? Can someone um, please confirm? Yeah, it's mostly, mostly just the stage is huge. So, um... Yeah. I, mean, I, believe I believe the ceiling is average. Yeah. Okay, I know it's it's got short er sides. It's definitely no Yoshi's story though. Yeah, that would be ridiculous. Oh, for almost those a really good kill by K9 there. For anyone that is curious about specific, sorry, I mean there. That's okay. For, for specific uh, stage sizes and stuff, uh, there you can go on projectemulating.com. It lists like all the different uh, sizes on the walls and ceilings and stuff on the stage selection. So. Oh no. Infinity's first dot going to a thing. Doubles is very oh. chaotic, so I wasn't quite sure what that thing right. was. Oh no. Mewtwo King missing that angle. Wow, we went for the IDC, not quite able to get it. K9 with these pressure mix ups. Not K9, Neon, excuse me. Up smash. Always a tried and true favorite. Wow. Okay, I wonder if that was supposed to be a Dak as well. That was just like a dash attack from downtown. From beyond. Wow, there's this is cool. There's so much happening all at once right now. When it up air kills. Okay, it kills just Lucas, killing. but not Infinity. That was so close. So like yes. Infinity almost died from that. Oh, and the shine on K9. He's done. Okay, the Neon went out there to try and save him, but didn't really want to go that deep, understandably. Oh, oh. no! And then Air. Two King. Unfortunate self-destruct. I think he was trying to wave land and just missed the timing, perhaps? Dash attack. Bear. Wow. Great conversion from Neon there. So much shield. I know. Neon, there's no one, nobody pressures shields like Neon does. It's incredible. No one pressures shield like Lucas does. Yeah, Lucas in general, but Neon in particular. Nice bear. All right, and whoa! Getting hit out of the yeah. dimensional cave. Yeah, that was interesting. Very wow! And good. okay, <gasps> and the shine straight down. Oh, okay. should have just stayed on the yeah. Stayed on the ledge. Canine's still living. Infinity's got him on the ledge though. Bear. That'll do it. Yep. Green team looking pretty good right now. I mean, though they can change with just a few hits on Fox, we'll be even again. This, this is a really close game. Yeah. Yuzu King is seconds from home. one good hit away from death, basically. Infinity's oh. really high percent too. Neon. Neon oh, not great edge hog from Yuzu King. All yeah, right, that was here we go. Really good. Red team has to put in a lot of work to bring this back now. Still definitely Ooh. doable. Unless Bear from Mewtwo King. Drops this stock. Misses the ledge cancel. He's going to get up here for it. Okay, no IDC here. There it goes. Okay, so three stocks to make up for Neon. He's got MK off stage here. Not quite. We'll see how the canine handles the 1v2. Oh, accidentally down airing his partner. Short hot PK freeze. Wow! Uh, what smash. a good combo. That was so oh, wow, good. and that was 2 0. Very good games by both teams, but. I forgot. I, I was on, I was under the impression that it was 3 out of 5, but. Oh, no. Not quite. Uh, nope. Good stuff to Neon and K9. <laughs> Infinity flexing. Oh, that's off camera. Oh, well. Mewtwo King. Yes, for those wondering, uh, Melee is on video game or BG Bootcamp. Uh, you can go to multi Twitch. Uh, .tv slash training locator slash BG Bootcamp to watch both streams at the same time. If one of the mods can link that.